What is going on everybody? MSGD back with some more uh, CFB25 rebuilding UL Monroe Dynasty. So one thing I wanted to check on real quick is the conference standings. Where are we in the conference? Like are we in a position to potentially win? Okay, so we're 5-2 and two in the conference. Where are we in the Sun Belt West? Okay, so we're in the lead. Southern Miss. So we got a win against Troy. Hopefully Southern Miss loses because I don't believe we beat them. Do we have the tiebreaker over them? Who are our losses to in conference? Wait, this is not what I wanted with scores and schedule. Where's our scores and schedule? Team schedule. Duh. Um, our losses are to Louisiana, who's in the east. No, Louisiana is definitely in the west. South Alabama, that's a bad loss. Honestly, so is Louisiana. We did beat Southern Miss, who's our... Okay, so we should be okay. So we just have to beat Troy. And we should be in the Sun Belt Conference Championship, I guess. What's our bowl projection? Let's see, where where are we projected to play? In the Camellia Bowl against Bowling Green, who's one of the top-rated teams in the country. What are we doing here, man? We have to play a top-20 team, potentially, in one of the first bowl games of the season? Oh, no, December 29th. Why do these get listed first and then kind of the, uh, the nothing bowls? Okay, I don't know why they listed the bowls in the order that they did. Um, some things are not meant for me to understand. Um, okay, so let's look at the recruiting breakdown. So we have an extra 125 hours to do what with? I don't know. I mean, we landed a few recruits after last episode. Quarterback Jalen Jones, linebacker uh, Taven Gilliam, and oh, we ended up losing out on Enrique DeChico. Uh, we did end up getting Taylor Espinosa, so that's exciting. Um, and Damian Snowden. So... Uh, what that means is we need to just figure out, like, who are we at most risk of losing, and then just, like, how do we commit extra points to them. So, Marigos, we're going to drop our points on you for now. Bobo, we're going to drop our points on you for now. Um, actually, uh, Shazier. Yeah, Shazier, we're going to drop our points on you for now as well. We don't need to worry about you. We can always try to grab you later in, in the cycle. Um... Cordova, we need to put more points. Oh, wait, no. He's for sure. He's gone. He's he's gone. There's no way. Because he's... He cares about championship contender, brand exposure, doesn't care about proximity to home. Yeah, he's gone. Because he's also got a, a, a visit coming up. Let's just go ahead and save our time. J.R. Doss, he's for sure going to be ours. We, we've got him. Uh, David Law, he's for sure going to be ours. We've got him as well. I can just, I already feel good about that. Um, Grudadorio, we're going to keep the, okay, Sergio Green, another three-star. The fact that his playing time's probably awful now. B minus, it should be lower. We already signed a QB, and we've got Stenerud for two more years. Like, you should not feel good right now. Um, Quincy Reynolds, yeah, we can drop our points on him. Let's just go ahead is there anybody who is in a recruiting battle right now that we can still get? Alex Incognito, we're for sure going to land him. Well, I shouldn't say for sure. I mean, a lot of changes in the offseason. Okay, so this is a good example of somebody that we need to commit maximum pointage to. Nathan Venable, he does have a visit coming up to Troy. Hopefully we can hold off. Hopefully we can prevent the commitment. If we can prevent a commitment and get a, an offseason visit, we have a chance. Otherwise, we're in trouble. Um, Baraka Diamond's not going to play anytime soon. Sean Peacock, take those points off. Okay, so James Cabral, that one we are in a dogfight with him, or with Miami for him. We're not in a dogfight with him. That would be bad. Um, so he really cares about pro potential playing style and proximity to home. That's not really what we bring to the table. Um, so we're just going to get more out of doing that than trying to hard sell him. Um, and hopefully we can survive long enough to get a visit. Um, same thing with Brady Schlotman. Two of our lowest rated guys on our board, but um, still guys we need. So I think now at this point, let's go ahead and sort by... Um, so we're going to sort by, yeah, by recruiting stage. Let's just go ahead and also grab or put as many points into... Why can we put 75 towards the linebacker? I don't understand. But let's just go ahead and 
get the guys closest to committing to try to commit um, just to get them across the finish line so to speak um, and then we can circle back focus on other guys so Quincy Reynolds let's go ahead take care of that and then the guys who are furthest away will keep that open um, so let's go ahead let's play Troy if we win I believe we're in the conference championship so let's go ahead let's 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 uh let's go with the uh the yellow pants today I think that's kind of fun I like that all right Okay, so they scored first drive, I believe. Oh, they only scored a field goal. We're fine. Oh, I forgot to mention, our last home game was uh, uh, senior day for Bennett Galloway and everybody else. I completely forgot about that. I'm a bad coach, man. I forgot about my player's senior day. There we go, Leon Cloud. Good work. Way to pick up the first down. Way to pick up six. Keep those legs churning. Eight for 30 and a touchdown last week was not great, but you know what? It was fine. It was what we needed out of him. But this time, this carry, look at the... Oh, he gets tripped up. He gets his ankles grabbed, but he was, he was fixing to move. He was scooting. There we go. There's eight. All right, let's go read why pop. Let's see. Let's see if Gross looks open. He does. Pick up the first down and then some. There's seven. There we go. Oh, their field goal was one big play. They had two first downs on the drive. Okay, he's still going. Look at that. Nine yards. Oh, no, is he hurt? Why is he slow to get up? I don't like that. All right, let's see. Are we going to throw it to Ingold? We could have, but I'll just take the first down, pick up four yards. Could have thrown that there. Chose not to. All right, we got the read option here. What's the defensive end going to do? Um, we probably should have kept that, actually, now that I think about it. All right, second and ten. Let's okay. Let's hit the hit the flat. There we go, Amaya. Make it third and very short. Third and two. That's very manageable for us. Uh, coach does not want to run on third and manageable. Why not, Coach? That's like this is that's why we run that play on second and ten is so that way we can run on third and short. Leon Cloud, keep those legs churning. Oh, fourth and inches. What do we do here? Decision, decision. Um, oh, what do we do here? What do we do here? Coach. Coach, coach, coach. I think we go for it. We're playing for a spot in the conference championship. We did not come this far to kick field goals on fourth and inches. Yeah, coach wants to go for it. Good. All right, let's go ahead. We'll go inside zone here. I don't mind that. I don't, I don't mind this play call. I like this. Oh, our left guard missed a block, but thankfully the left tackle picked it up and we score. Let's go. That's why we go for it. Kind of got away with one there. The left tackle really bailed us out, but I'm not mad at it. And we get the ball close to midfield. Let's go ahead, Leon Cloud. Let's get let's get working. Let's get percolating with the run game. Okay, three yards. Yeah, not a lot going on at all. Um, oh, I'm really tempted to run a play action pass and see if we can take the top off the defense, but I'm not... I'm not comfortable with that at the moment. I'd rather stick to what's working. Like, we're running for six or seven yards of carry at this point. Like, just stick. No, that's not open. Oh, okay, Bennett Galloway. Turn four yards out of running into the other guy. That's something. Uh, let's see about Joe Baisley here. Is he going to be open? He is. Wiley holds his block. We pick up nine yards through the air. That's all we got to do. 
If we don't have to throw a single pass, I'm content. That's I'm about winning football games. That's what matters. Okay. I tried to hit the outside there, and it just wasn't there. We only pick up two on that one. Let's go read why pop. Let's see about gross again. Um, I don't know that he's going to be there, though. He is. Okay. He picks up the first down again. There's another 10. All right, let's see if Ingold's going to be there. I think that's a little less likely, just the way... You know what? We could have thrown that, but I'm seeing seven. Yeah, nine. All right, let's go power read. I really like this play. Okay. No matter what there, I don't know that I pick up a first down. Um, that's going to take us to the two-minute warning on third and six. Let's go ahead and run Y cross here. I think that's a reasonable play call in this instance. Um... I'm actually going to put you on a streak because I think there's a chance you just beat your man off the line. He does not. Let's just take off with Centerud. First down. All right. Now we got to go back to the run because coach suggestions, once you hit the two-minute warning, are like, you can't run the ball. It's first and goal on the five. We can most certainly run the ball. We are in no risk of not scoring before half. There's literally no way the clock runs out on us here. Uh, let's go ahead with RPO read bubble to the short side of the field. See if it's zone, we should be okay. Yeah, we're good. Oh no, but he didn't block. We had a touchdown there if he blocks. Come on, man. I just need you to block for me one time. All right, let's see if Gross is going to get open. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, he is. The outside wide receiver needed a block there, but because he blocked, we're okay. If he didn't, that's a pick six going the other way. So that was a really risky throw, actually, now that I think about it. All right, we're going to get the ball back. It's going to be, I'm assuming, 14-10. Yeah. A two-minute offense, man. They always score in the two-minute offense. It's crazy. Um, I'm going to put you... Actually, you're going to go on one of those. Uh, just take the first down, or just take the completion. Um, we'll go hurry up one time on an all-go and just see what we can do. I don't know that we're going to get anything here, but... Are you serious? How did he catch that? That's crazy. That's an insane play. Good for him. Alright, so we're going Hail Mary... Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Can we... Oh! Oh, Joe Baisley! Joe Baisley! Let's go! What are we doing? What a, what a play! Oh my god, what a play! Joe Baisley! We were just trying to heave it to Ingold. Joe Baisley! Oh my god, what a play! I think he's a senior, too. That is a crazy play in his last regular season game for us. Oh, my God. Joe Baisley. These are the plays that get us into the conference championship. Joe Baisley. What a catch. What a catch. Oh, my God. That was insane. Absolutely insane. I I can't believe it. What a catch. What a play. Absolutely insane. Oh, man. I thought if I ran that to the left, that'd be better. It turns out it was not better running it to the left. Let's see about this. Ooh, we got the true freshman Earl Hagens in. I guess he's a redshirt freshman. Okay, Earl Hagens. He's a little clunkier when he runs. He's not quite uh, developed, so to speak. Um, uh, why are those my favorites? Um, I don't know why those are in my favorites. That's very weird to me. I don't remember making field goal and QB Neal two of my favorites, but okay. Um, let's see about throwing the screen pass. There we go. Pick up the first. Ooh, fourth and two. Decisions, decisions, decisions. We got a two possession lead. We've been running the ball well. It's fourth and two. Let's just... Let's just think about this for a second. Let's look at... Let's see what coverage they come out in, and then we'll decide. Ooh. 
I kind of like this. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, he didn't block! He didn't block! It should have been there, and we immediately give up a touchdown. That, I can't believe that, that he didn't block that. That should have been there. Mmm, that's so frustrating. Well, we can't throw that. There we go. You know what? I think we made the right call there. We made the right read. Our players just didn't execute, and that's going to happen. We know the risks. We assume the risk that, you know, there'd be an execution error, and there was, and that's that. Oh, he just didn't have the speed I needed. Oh, my God, I swear. Are we about to get hit with a holding? Yo, 75. I hope you're a senior dog, because I can't wait for you to be gone. Muhammad Orlando, brother, count your days. You're a freshman? Oh, boy. All right, now we got first and 19. That's not good. Galloway. Okay, well, he gets us back to where we were. So we're back to second and 10. All right, let's see what we could do here. Oh, Jesus. 71, you didn't even try to block. Holy cow. How? How did we manage to have this happen? How did we find ourselves in this position? We were cruising. Oh, RB is wide open. Let's go, Ingold. Let's go. Go, go. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Okay, well, you got caught, but that's okay. RB was wide open. What the hell kind of coverage was that? Cover six? Thank you. Run that again, please. Apparently, we need cover six. That's the defense we need them to come out in. Oh, uh, there was nothing there. They really guarded that. They guarded all three right there. Maybe the bubble is open. I didn't check it, but based on how they were guarding the flat, I'm going to guess the bubble also was not there. Man, Bowling Green. That's crazy. They could end up being in the... They might be the... Uh, the whatchamacallit. Uh, the speed option. That is going to kill our quarterback. The speed option is dangerous. We can't run that. Oh, we've got him. Oh, my God, but our guy's not blocking. Oh, but Caleb Gross actually made a guy miss. Let's go. What a touchdown. What a play. Caleb Gross said, get on my back. Let's go, Caleb Gross. Oh, my God, they just walked down the field. They walked down the field and score again. Man, our defense is leaky, leaky, leaky today. Thank God for Joe Baisley's tip drill touchdown at this point. Okay, Bennett Galloway. Okay, Bennett Galloway. I'm going to miss him, man. I remember when Hunter Smith was steady Eddie. Bennett Galloway came in being the spark plug we needed. Now he's just... Now he's steady Eddie even better than Smith was. Uh, I don't know about power read here. Let's go this power read. I like the one where the, the running back hits the outside. Let's see. Uh, we got to keep it. Even though I'd rather Stenerud not have it. So I'm worried about injury and fumble and whatnot, but... That was the better that was the better read there, unfortunately. Okay. Oh, Galloway, I just needed you to sneak right by him there. That's okay. We're taking this to the two minute warning. They've got all three timeouts. So we have to pick up a few more first downs. Um can you kick out? No, you cannot. Okay. I wonder if I could move Wiley across the field. Guess I didn't even think to try. Ah uh, crap, we gotta we gotta get a first down here. We can't not. All right, here we go, Bennett Galloway. You got two down linemen, five in the box. Oh, ho, we almost didn't pick it up. With that light of a box, we almost did not pick it up. That would have been, I would have been infuriated at that. That's inexcusable, honestly. All right, Galloway, you have a chance to get over 100 yards on the day. That would be something. Hmm. Okay. Um... Oof. If history has taught me anything, we're going to find a way to screw this up, but I just, I refuse. I refuse to lose. There we go, Leon Cloud. There we go, Leon Cloud. Move the chains. Oh, close. Close to moving the chains. Are we in shoe clock mode? No, but we should be. Okay, let's go uh, RPO alert screen. We've got a first down here. I feel it. I feel it. There we go, Bennett Galloway. There we go. Move the chains. This game should be over. They're out of timeouts, right? 
Let's go. Folks, we have made it to the conference championship. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Come on. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. That Hail Mary was the deciding play, basically. That and Caleb Gross's spin move. Stenerud, player of the game, honestly. I don't know that I, I agree with that. I mean, he was really great. 171, 93% completion. Like, that's incredible. But I don't know. Let's go through the stats here and see if we can find someone better. Baisley might be up there. Baisley might be it, honestly. So Stenerud, 15 for 23. Oh, no, that's their guy. 13 for 14, 171, 92, three touchdowns and a pick. Honestly, I don't think I should have thrown that pick. I think I think Stenerud, everything we needed today. Running the ball, Galloway, 19 for 106. Leon Cloud, 11 for 50. Stenerud, for 3 for 17. He was really good throwing the ball as well, so or running the ball, so maybe, maybe that's fair. Receiving Baisley, 3 for 63 and a touchdown. What we needed. Caleb Gross, 5 for 34 and two touchdowns. Oh, yeah, Baisley's a junior. He's coming back. Did Tristan Wiley? Tristan Wiley had one catch for seven yards. Senior. I want to get him more involved, but we just don't need it, you know? The red shirt freshman, Alec, or Angelo Ingold. I always call him Alec Ingold. I don't know why. He had a great game. He had a big catch uh, to, to get the ball down the field on one of our scoring drives um, that, you know, ended up being the deciding score. That was big. All right, normally I wait to advance the week for the next episode, but I think we need to do it now. I need to see, did we make the damn conference championship? I'm, I'm literally praying over here that we did. I need to know. We're also going to have to do some recruiting. Okay, so Nathan committed to Troy. That's fine. We get some points back. Um, Cabral, oh, no. Yeah, he's going to end up leaving. He's going to go somewhere else. That sucks. Okay. Um, let's go. We made it to the Sun Belt Championship against Marshall. Yes. Let's go. That's so big. Okay. I'm so excited. That's great. Did we play Marshall this season or no? I don't think so. If we did, we beat them, but I don't think we did. Okay, so let's see. Who has Marshall played this year? What's their What's their record like? Oh my god, really? I have to sort through the entire damn all 134 teams in college football? Do, 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 do. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we got... So they lost to Middle Tennessee. They got smoked by Tennessee. And they lost to Coastal Carolina. But they beat Louisiana, who we lost to in triple overtime. Looks like they beat them in a close one. Um, yeah, we're going to have our work cut out for us. They look like a good team. 78 overall. Their one loss in conference. Oh, they lost to FCS Southeast. Honestly, I lost to FCS Southeast last year, or in our first year. Um, yeah, I mean they're a good team. Just looking at the looking at their results. That's a that's a solid football program right there. Let's see. So now we're projected to play Toledo, who ended up losing because Bowling Green's now projected to make the playoff. I bet. Um, okay, so. Basically, it sounds like if I had to guess, the winner gets the Birmingham Bowl. The loser gets the Camellia Bowl, I would think. So, good to know. Um, are we at least receiving votes at 8 and 4? I doubt it, but like, wouldn't that be something? No, we're not. Okay. Oh, we're receiving votes! We're getting, we got 10 votes this past week! No way! That's sick. Okay, we didn't get any votes in the coaches' poll. Coaches are some haters. That's what it's... That's... Whatever, man. I didn't want your votes anyways. I didn't want to be in the CFP either. That's whatever. Okay. Let's go, baby. Okay, let's see. Heisman watch? Yeah, we don't have anybody in the Heisman watch. That would make sense. That would be wild if we did. Uh, let's see. Award watch list. Do we have anybody? Player of the year? That's the Heisman trophy. Uh... Or no, it's not the Heisman Trophy. How are we not Coach of the Year, man? Well, actually, I know how we're not Coach of the Year, but I would just like to believe. Uh, Centerud is not up there. Best defensive player, do we have anybody up there? No. DB, do we have anybody there? We do not. Running back, really? Bennett Galloway didn't make the cut? Man, there's some haters. That's what they are. The Lombardi Award? Nope. 
Nope. No. Oh my god. It's just all Georgia. No. The Broyles Award? Okay, good. We don't want any of my coaches getting poached. Best linebacker. Best center. Lou Groza. Kavka's not on the list, man. Best punter. You wouldn't even know our punter exists with how efficient we are on offense. All right. Well, this has been an absolute rush. I'm stoked. I can't believe it. So, anyways, without further ado, I'll let everybody go, and I will see everybody in the next one.